Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Sis got blah boy, sis got blah boy. Sis got blah boy, sis got blah boy. Yeah. 901, Shelby Drive, look alive, look alive. Came up on this side, now they on the other side. All right, here we go. Scott Disick, aka Lord Disick. How Welcome are to Vlad TV. Thank you. Thank you. Well, and you have a pretty big car collection. I do like cars. I mean, I've loved cars since I was a kid, you know. My dad loved cars. He got me into cars as a young guy. And I think the car world has changed a lot too, to be honest, because now it's not so much about the car and it's more about the flex factor and, <laughs> you know, what car I have or what car to show off, where for me, I truly love cars and I tend to not even drive some of them because I'm not looking to get photographed in them and then just be spoken about of, oh, I'm trying to show off my money or show off my car. I just really love the beauty of automobiles and I yeah. always have. Right, and we're about to actually go check out your car collection, but how many cars do you actually own right now? Probably about 20. 20 cars. Yeah, I would say over the, yeah, I have them spread out. Right. So I have maybe like eight, eight here. And then I keep the rest down in my friend's store. 901 Shelby Drive, look alive, look alive. Came up on this side, now they on the other side. Oh well, f them dog, we gon' see how hard they ride. I get racks to go outside and I spit it with the guys. So now we're gonna check out your car collection. And this is actually just part of your car collection. Yeah, small part. Small part, but a very cool part. So what is this right here? This is a McLaren that I did a lot of work to. Yeah, as you can see, there's a ton of carbon fiber. Some of the car has uh, special wraps to it. Some of it has, you know, special carbon fiber body kits to it. Upgraded wing on the back that you could see by a company called 1016. MV forged wheels has upgraded pure turbos. Car's got a ton of work, you know. Uh, for me, a car is, you know, I buy it, kind of make it into a project. Different wheels, different aesthetics, different this, different that, different motor work, and Platinum Motorsports does a lot of my work. Probably 99% of my work, other than like the wraps and things like that, but Platinum has been best in the business, been around forever, and has always been great with me, and great to my family, and great to everybody, and it's always taken care of my cars and built them up perfectly. Okay, so what kind of McLaren is this? It's a 720X. What's the sticker price of a car like this? Probably about 350. 350. And then there's probably another 100 in it. Okay, so about f almost half a million dollars. Close when to it. When the dust settles. This one, yeah, after everything, it's probably about a half. Okay, and the zero to 60 on this is what? Probably about two seconds. Okay. Because it's got a thousand horsepower. A thousand horsepower. Yeah. Okay, what's the fastest you've taken it? You know, I try not to get into too much trouble. <laughs> Probably a just, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred and something, but this car I would say is one of, uh, for the money, one of the best performing cars you could probably buy. Okay, Can we take a look on the inside? Yeah. The doors go up, which is nice. Aha. And you know, it's got all suede interior all carbon fiber throughout. It's got, you know, black and red Alcantara, carbon fiber accents. It's a pretty nice interior for a sports car. What you know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. So this right here is my Porsche. Uh, it's a new 992 Turbo S which is a great car, great everything. I mean, I never had been that into Porsches until recently. And, you know, there's always people that are Ferrari guys, Lamborghini guys, all types of cars. And then there's Porsche, 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 where they don't want to even go outside of Porsche. Mm. And I never understood it until I really had one. And I can now say that I get it why people really love and stick to Porsche. 
It's one of the best handling, best driving cars I've ever had. And it's so practical inside, so much more room than most of the other sports cars you have. The power's there, it runs unbelievable, super reliable, always pretty. I mean, the, the aesthetic of this car basically looks the same as the one in the 80s. It just keeps getting a little bit more modernized and a little bit more, you know, aerodynamic. But at the end of the day, you could tell a Porsche so much easier than any other car. I mean, they've really kept that body looking the way it has for so many years, the 911. And this one in particular, you know, I changed out the turbos and put upgraded turbochargers in it, so it went faster. New wheels, uh, body kit, wing, carbon everywhere. I put a new steering wheel on it that's a little bit thicker with carbon fiber. Very tame interior, it's not too crazy, but I will say it's very roomy. Has a lot of area, has back seats, not tremendous. Very driver friendly. And the sticker price of this car? Ah, uh, sticker price on this, you know, Porsches are, they're fairly priced much better than most of the other sports cars out there. This is probably 250, 240. Okay. And then also this car has got probably another 80 or so into it then. A lot of people, you know, like for example, like Vanilla Ice, he's really big into keeping cars stock. Uh -huh. He's into like collector's cars where like he has like the first Phantom off the factory floor, or he's got a Ferrari that he's never driven. You are more so into customizing and changing yeah. and so forth. Yeah, much more. Yeah. Yeah, I like to kind of personalize my car and that Platinum Motorsports has been great helping me do that throughout the years. I've been using them for almost 20 years. They've been amazing. When it's time for you to sell the cars, because you, do you sell your cars or do you just keep building your collection? Some I sell, some I trade out. Okay. When it's time for you to sell, do you get the money back that you put into it or not so depends much? Depends on the car, depends on what you got in it. Mm. It depends on how you bought the car. And you know, if you bought the car for a great deal, you have more money to spend on it and not get hurt. But it just, it really depends on the car, the buyer. You know, if you make something gorgeous, there's always a buyer for it. So mm. I've done pretty good with that stuff. Okay. But I don't look at my cars as really investments. It's more of a passion, but okay. I've never gotten too hurt on any of them. So I, I've always been happy, I, you know, metal's metal. Mm. So they're always worth something. It's okay. not like you're buying a car and you're throwing out the money. So now we got the Ferrari. Yeah, so this is actually a hard top convertible. So just like a perfect convertible Ferrari. I made it matte white, black wheels, lowered it, exhaust, downpipe, chip. Just a great day-to-day -day daily driver if you want to have a convertible. I drove it last night to Malibu. And you know, it's great. Easy car, has room, has back seats if needed, not not huge, but they're there. But overall, just an easy, great car. Okay, a sticker price on this? Uh, probably in the high twos. Okay. How many Ferraris have you owned over the years? Oh, I don't know. A lot. Tons. Is this your favorite Ferrari or? No. Okay, what's I your favorite Ferrari? I love this Ferrari, but uh, probably a lot Ferrari. You've had a lot Ferrari? You still, you still have a lot of Ferrari. Yeah. And that's what, like how many millions? Probably uh, 3.8 now. 3.8 million. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't drive that, but. Yeah, uh, I bet. That's a keeper. I think in 20, 30 years, that car could be worth, you know, somewhere in the 15, 20, 30 million dollar range. Well, easy. I mean, that's considered one of the greatest Ferraris ever, right? Well, no, I mean, it, it's all in, you know, the times, you yeah. know, when we were growing up, the best Ferrari was an F40 or an F50. Testarossa for me. Testarossa was- For me was, growing up, that was, that was you know, the, the Miami Vice car, basically. Testarossa was a cool car. I loved it too, yeah. but it wasn't the highest of the collector car from Ferrari. Okay. The F40 and the F50, 
then the Enzo came out, then mm. the LaFerraris came out. Those are the bigger, higher end cars that are gonna become the monster collector cars down the road. Right, and Ferrari is one of these companies that essentially every car that you buy from Ferrari, I mean, maybe not so much the California, but everything above that will go up in value. Hope so. Yeah. That's one, you know, be. you know, it just seems- Ferrari's done a really good job They've done a good that. job of that is what yeah. I'm saying. It's a great investment if you buy the right car from Ferrari. This car is pretty cool because it's got the black seats with the white piping that matches the exterior of the car. It has white baseball stitching throughout. It's a pretty cool interior, especially with the top down. You'll see the white piping throughout the seats. It's definitely like a nice little touch. Gives it a really nice little classy feel. White calipers behind this mesh wheel. So that gives it another detail that just ties it together. And I think that's a special part about customizing cars that it kind of all flows together. This car is totally, totally, totally wild interior that we did. That's custom. Oh, wow. Okay. Yellow suede diamond stitch seats, MV Forge wheels, all customized exhaust, you know, wing, carbon fiber hood. Everything on the car is pretty much custom. Similar to the one that I flipped and crashed. Okay, so this is almost the it's same almost car? It's almost a twin, basically, yeah. In 2022, you were in your Lamborghini SUV and you crashed it and it flipped. Yeah. That was a pretty serious accident. Yeah, at the time, it, it didn't seem as bad as it was. I mean, obviously, it looked terrible. I crashed my car, totaled it. Uh, the car seemed pretty safe and it was actually, you know, I got out of it with not much, not much damage to myself, but then later down the road, my back had a ton of injuries and uh, a lot of my joints were messed up and I guess it was from whiplash. So it hurt my back and I'm still working on my back now with physical therapy. Mm to not have to have a fusion there, a fusion um, surgery to have like, you know, steel in my back. But that's a fight that I'm kind of going up and down with trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. So for now I do uh, pain management therapy with it and I get um, epidurals in my back so I don't feel the pain. Oh, you have to go through all that? Yeah. Wow. And Right now, it feels all right, but there's still some pain in it, yeah. So the fact that you flipped a car like this, was that the worst accident you've ever been in? No. You've been in worse accidents? I've been in a worse accident as a kid. I uh, was in Vermont and I flipped a car into like a ravine Damn. and ended up with all a bunch of friends and we were like in water and nobody got hurt or really badly hurt, but I've been in a few car accidents. That one was pretty bad though, the one in this car, and I definitely didn't want to get another one because it felt weird that I crashed it, flipped and had a bad accident. But the truth was it was very safe and I loved the car and I couldn't help myself to get another one and a deal came up and I had to take it, so. Okay, so you actually bought another Ferrari. So you bought another Lamborghini. Another Lamborghini and I actually made it a clone because it had the same body kit, similar wheels, uh, different wheels actually, but similar, same body kit, same company, 1016. And the other one wasn't as customized. It didn't have the crazy yellow interior, but similar. Uh, it was also gray, but this is a dark gray. That was a lighter gray. And I tend to go for gray cars. It's probably okay. my favorite color for cars. Okay, and the sticker price on this stock? Uh, I think they're in the 280 range, 260 range. Okay, so how much money did you put into this car? Uh, uh, you know, I'd say there's probably 60 maybe put into it with okay. the wheels, body kit, lower, custom interior, exhaust, downpipes, computer chip, things like that. Platinum did this car and did a great job. Everything's seamless, works perfect. No rubbing of the tires because, you know, big wheels for a car like this. And a lot of carbon fiber, but great car and you get a lot for what you have because you have an SUV, you have a sports car, you got a lot of seats. 
so you got the best of a lot of worlds in it. Show Taylor's on and a whole lot of ice. Ay. Just to get right, had to gamble with my life. Ay. While you was thinking twice, I already rolled a dice. Trout. Wearing bands, running in and out all night. Trout. Sing to your Ooh. like I'm Brian McKnight. Ooh. Smoking on some 41, call it Gleam Rice. Lotto. Ten cars outside and all my <laughs> tight. <laughs> Trap, but I to bury white. Uh. So now we got the Brabus G-Wagon. Yeah. Tell me about this. So I've always loved G-Wagons. I've always had G-Wagons since I can't even remember. I've just always thought they were a cool car. I've always thought it was cool that they haven't really changed this body since probably year 2000. Yeah. Pretty much been the same boxy look and I think it's cool that Mercedes kept to that. And you know, Brabus is just the one step up where you take it to the next level and make the car wide body, faster, beefier, bigger, headlights on the roof, carbon fiber everywhere. And you know, the wheels, everything, exhaust. And it's an all around just, to me, epic car, you know, cause you got the G-Wagon of the class factor, but then you have the Brabus of the performance factor. So with everything tied in, you know, you pretty much have everything. Okay, and G-Wagons by themselves are notorious for being marked up at the dealership. Yeah, they you have know, been for the like past 70, couple 000, years. They're like 70,000, sometimes 100,000 over sticker just to get a stock G-Wagon. They have been for the past three years. Yeah, yet. they have. I remember when I went to a Mercedes dealership, I was kind of shocked when they told me that. Yeah, it's wild. So, so you have the stock G-Wagon, which is what, maybe 150 or so? No, they're 200 for the 63. 200 for the 63. So then once you add the Brabus, how much are you talking about? Another couple hundred. Okay, so this is like a half million dollar car. 400. 400, okay. And Brabus basically takes off the Mercedes emblem, puts their own B on. Yeah, I mean, a lot more to it than that. Well, yeah. I mean, but yeah, everything. I mean, all the bumpers are theirs, the grills, the hood, the sides, the fenders. I mean, you know, everything that they do has to then go into the next piece. So there's a lot more that goes into it than you think. I mean, there's a wing on the back. There's those front the headlights that you see on the top, the, the side mirrors, the wheels, the exhaust. I mean, it doesn't end. Okay. But always thought Brabus made an unbelievable product. Always wanted to have one. So to me, you know, I, I really love this car. This is definitely one of my top picks. Okay, let's look at the inside. Yeah, so the interior on this car, you know, it's just all black. Very, very sleek carbon fiber trim, carbon fiber steering wheel with some Alcantara on it. You know, I think the exterior is really where this car pays off and the interior is just simple, comfortable, has what you need and it's already beautiful. So there wasn't really much modifications that need to be done to that. Of course, you could change the color. Brabus does that. I decided black was a great color for it. And I thought the tone with the gray with the black goes, so I didn't feel I needed to change the inside on this one. Tiffany blue would be probably pretty cool, but <laughs> maybe the next one. Okay, so in this situation, do you buy the G-Wagon and then send it to Brabus? Yeah. Okay, so it's not like Brabus already has these done no. and you buy it from them. No. So it's a full customization job. Correct. And how long does it take to get it back from Brabus? It always depends, probably six months. Six months? Yeah. So you buy the car, then you gotta wait another half a year yeah. to get the car you want. So hopefully, you know, you buy it while you're driving something else, and then it comes, and then you can get rid of whatever that is. 901 Shelby Drive, look alive, look alive. Came up on this side, now they on the other side. Oh well, f them dog, we gon' see how hard they ride. I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys. This is your favorite car right here. Yeah, my Becker made Escalade. So if you notice, it's not a typical Escalade. Right here, you'll see there's a stretch uh. in the car. Yep. So it's pulled and then the doors are also lengthened another 10 inches. So you got about 30 inches of stretch. So if you notice the car is big and you notice the roof also goes up. Uh. So that's for your, when you're inside, you have headroom. Okay. So it probably looks like a normal car to you until you open it. So okay. I'll show you the inside and- Let's go take a look inside. Let's check out the interior because this is, this is so pretty yeah. crazy. So the interior is what's really special about this car. It's very much like a presidential vehicle. It's bulletproof. 
Wait, and this car is bulletproof. Yeah. Okay. And so, is, it, is it bomb proof on the bottom too or? Yep, everything. Everything. So here you have jump seats. So if some people want to sit facing towards you, electric. And then if you get in the car, you'll see you have full captain chairs, like a first class, first class plane seat, I guess you could call it. And then, yeah, you'll notice it's very much like an airplane in the sense you got custom tray tables where you could do whatever you felt. You could have your lunch, you could have your laptop, you could control the car through here, through a Crestron system. I mean, it has all the bells and whistles that you could ever have in a vehicle, pretty much. Okay. And then these seats basically turn into what's like a first class luxury seat on an airplane. Huh. So, you know, sitting in this and then you have a divider for your television. So I could see my driver, I could see out, or I could put the TV up. If you notice, I now have my Apple TV, I could have anything. I could watch YouTube, I could watch whatever I'd like. I could go to any streaming apps, I could do anything. I have a dual router, so I have two different companies. So if it's bad service in one area, it switches to a different server. So it's really an unbelievable made vehicle and all the leather and the whole entire car is redone in like a beautiful beautiful like rolls royce leather and yeah i can't say enough about becker auto they really make probably one of the best vehicles you could ever make and to me this is just a fun toy you know i've gotten a little bit older and this is what i i just love it i think it's very cool i think it's something you'd never think there's no flash to it it's just strictly usable. And yeah. I mean, I I've been it. in a lot of Escalades. This thing looks completely gutted. It looks oh, like yeah, they, they tore the entire the whole... car apart and rebuilt it. Yeah, they do have to take it apart. They have to stretch the vehicle. Right. So everything is taken apart. You'll notice the ceiling is raised. Yeah. So everything is completely new. There's nothing in here that comes from Cadillac. You know, all the buttons are Rolls-Royce buttons, you know, Rolls-Royce tables. It's very, very special. Okay. And then if I have my kids, I have the jump seats there that they could sit in. I have a bar here for any kind of drinks. Then there's a refrigerator there. There's a safe in the back. There's a safe in the back. I mean, okay. you name it, they have it. Okay. I mean, in this particular case, the sticker price really doesn't matter. Because uh, these are expensive. it has nothing to do with the sticker price now. Well, these are expensive. Okay, so how much did this car cost? These will cost four fifty. Half a million dollars. Yeah, close to it. Wow. That's okay. with every every bell and whistle. That's with every single option. You could get one non-stretched for somewhere in the two fifty range, three hundred maybe. But if you want to go full stretch. Crestron, every single thing you're looking in the fours to even 500. I can see why this is your favorite car, man. This is I love it. I, I've never seen anything like this, and I've been in some either. nice cars. This no, is this is yeah, this is a different level right it's here. It's also the most comfortable thing I've ever been in, and at the end of the day, I'm always happy getting in in this car, getting out of this car, and I absolutely love it. And nobody will ever say, "Oh, look at you trying to show off." You know, it's just it's a great, 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 great car. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yep. This really this exceeded my expectations right here. Oh yeah. Every time I get in the car, I'm overjoyed about how amazing it was built. To get a Becker Automotive Escalade, you're looking at a, you know, a couple months wait just to get on the list to get a car built. And then to build a car out, it's anywhere from six to eight months. Huh. So you're lucky if you get one in a year. <laughs> How long did it take you to get this? I ordered it a while ago, so it took about a year, but I had one before this, I had a Suburban. Oh, okay, so, so they do other car companies too. I've okay. had these for a while now and there's just nothing like it. Okay, is this considered the top of the line that this company makes or do they have other cars this is that it. are? This is pretty, they do uh, vans, they do Escalades, they do any kind of uh, SUV, they do the Metris, the smaller van, but they're pretty much known for their Escalade stretch. But they do all SUVs, all types of work, all different types of clients, a lot of A-list celebrities, a lot of politicians even, a lot of people that need to be safe. But 
there's nothing quite like it. Okay, so we just saw part of your car collection. We saw six cars, but this is actually part of a much bigger collection of 20 cars. Yeah, I mean, these are the cars that I keep at home and then I keep the really, really expensive stuff inside the garage, but I don't really show people those. Okay, and you have 20 cars, including the LaFerrari and stuff like that. If you were to put a price tag on your entire car collection. Oh, I don't know. Cause it's hard because you don't really know the true value of anything right now. You know, things are going up and down at auctions and for the true collector cars that I own, you know, I couldn't really put a price on certain cars. Okay. Would but you there's guess, a lot of money in them. Would you guess maybe 20 million total? Uh, maybe give or take. Give or take 20 million? Probably. Well, man, look, I appreciate you uh, taking us on this tour. Incredible cars. And yeah. I think what's really different, because we've done a lot of car features, but no one has gone as heavy into customizing as you. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I mean, you know, like I said, Platinum Motorsports helped me a ton with that. And they've been helping me since day one. When I first got out here, I met with them and been doing business with them ever since. And they've always made my cars look extra cool and different than everybody else's and special and built great. And, it's been just a true hobby. I love it, love cars, and I'll always probably be into it. So for me, it's a big part of my life and it's a big part of the reason I work hard to build and make money so I can afford these things. And I kind of dreamed of these things growing up and now I'm able to do it. And it's really a great feeling. That's what it is, man. Truly appreciate it. Wish you all the best. Well, thank you. I really appreciate you guys coming. I'm happy I uh, gave you a little background of my life and my story and how I got here. And that's about it. That's what it is. Peace.